New at 11, 2,000 face shields will soon be in the hands of frontline hospital staff, and it's all made possible because of a group of several dozen teachers. This all started as a grassroots coalition, and now it will supply hospitals from Cincinnati to Athens. WCPO 9 News reporter Jake Ryle explains how this group came together and how one of the founders is being honored. Inside Southern State Community College's gym, a race to finish. These are the uh, prototype face shields that we're making. Hands hard at work. We 3D printed this part right here. I can't even describe how much it means. Like to take something that you have a skill in and to take, you know, 3D printers, which a lot of these schools buy for us as teachers to, to teach students how to do. Um, obviously, they're just sitting in classrooms right now, not being used. It all started with a Facebook post. I saw online that some people were 3D printing face shields in Europe. And I went, man, I wonder if we could do that out of my computer lab. Since the pandemic hit, classrooms have sat empty. Josh Montgomery, a professor at the college, says the tools were already there. I wonder if there are educators in Southern Ohio that are really just not doing a whole lot. 3D printers sitting in their schools not doing anything. And we were right. 61 3D printers have been working nonstop. The group calls themselves the Southern Ohio Makers Against COVID Coalition, or SOMAC. When you are an educator, when you're all used to helping people, when that's what you're really, your mission in life is to do, and you're really taken out of that environment, this really gives us an outlet. Just ask computer science teacher Nate Luke about an outlet. A lot of the time, I'll go out run. Um, big runner that's on hold as he and more than 100 others work around the clock to get hospital workers life saving gear. But what he doesn't know can think of a better person to get any award uh, than Nate Luke for sure. And Nate doesn't know it yet, but he's about to be in for what he's going to call the surprise of a lifetime. Go out and run. Take your mind off of this. It'll do wonders for you. A breath of fresh air for what he believes will be a group photo. Instead, I thought we were just going to get a group picture, you know, six feet apart from each other and uh, everyone's like looking at me clapping I was like, guys what what's going on congratulations you have been selected to run in the uh, TCS New York City Marathon uh, in November 1400 teachers applied Nate was selected as one of 50 teachers from across the country to participate in the New York City Marathon for his hard work as a STEM teacher. Thanks guys, yeah. appreciate it. Back inside the finish line in sight. We're just a bunch of educators just trying to make a difference. Teaching a valuable life lesson, no classroom needed. Taking something that we have and a skill that we have and kind of applying that to the people who really need them right now, makes it worth it. In Hillsboro. This will be something I'll never forget. Jake Ryle, WCPO, Nine News.